Hi there, welcome back to Fuck I Need a Cocktail, because fuck I do need a cocktail. Uh, sorry about my very somber response yesterday. Obviously it's sad news, it's always sad news that fuck I need a cocktail, because that's why we need a cocktail, it's not fuck I need to open a bottle of champagne. But I'll start that podcast next year when I'm more successful. Um, I was just a little bogged down in the animation from yesterday. Um, but keeping in, in tune with what we did yesterday, um, we're not going to talk about Harvey, which is still beating the shit out of Houston, uh, quite unfortunately. Um, you know, fourth largest city in America is just slowly underwater right now. It's really terrible. Um, you know, unlike the president, I'm not just going to tell you how bad the weather is. I'm actually going to say, why don't you check out what the Red Cross is doing to help and see if you can donate your time or money or... Unused uh, frequent flyer miles is something that is uh, of value to charity, too. I'll put a link in the comments on how to do that. Uh, but for me, the scary I-need-to-drink news from yesterday is the fact that North Korea managed to shoot a rocket over Japan. Um, new development, not really something they've been able to do before, but if you were living in Hokkaido, you were awoken by the idea that a rocket was about to go over you, uh, well, hopefully over you, um, and not into you. And uh, Hokkaido is the northernmost uh, highly populated island that is uh, in Japan, and it's, uh, a big part, it's a big part of the uh, Japanese whiskey history, and uh, so I think that that's a little bit what we'll talk about today in the I Need a Drink portion of this. We'll kind of do a little basic intro to Japanese whiskey history. So, um, uh, there's a small distillery on Hokkaido uh, called Yoichi, actually not too small, small by uh, some uh, American or Scottish standards, but not by uh, Japanese standards, it's actually quite large. And uh, they came on the scene uh, recently with uh, their single malt winning tons of awards and kind of creating the category uh, that is known as world malt, putting it forward. Uh, that said, they were founded in the early 30s by a guy named Masataku Takatsuro, and he um, went to Scotland and learned about distillation, uh, came back to uh, Japan, helped found what would become Suntory, and then moved up to Hokkaido uh, with his new wife, uh, Rita, and they uh, founded one of the most important distillers in the world. And it's a truly amazing story that I won't ruin for you here, but I will say that they started to sell their first whiskeys in 1940 in Japan. So that'll kind of give you an idea of what the world was like when this new idea of Japanese single malt whiskey started to happen and also blended whiskey as well. Of course, Yoichi is famous for the Japanese single malt whiskey, um, and that is not Scotch whiskey, though inspired by it. And uh, take a look into their story. It uh, might be something that brightens your day a little bit in these uh, scary times. And, uh, you know, that's it for me today. Fuck, I need a cocktail. Hope you enjoy the more animation. Go out and treat yourself to a little Japanese single malt. Uh, Yoichi would be an excellent choice. I love the 10-year. I like him a little bit younger than most people. A lot of people say, oh, the 21 years is the best. Older isn't better. All right, see you tomorrow.